Hello this is Ben119 and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to carry on with my Collect Treasure walkthrough, my Collect Treasure Platinum walkthrough actually. And we're going to be doing mission number 2 today which is Silver Lake. So in the first episode I did mission 1 and this is the second episode so I'm doing mission 2, Silver Lake. Now this mission is a lot harder than mission 1 and don't be afraid of this mission even though there is quite a lot of multitasking to do because I think this is a really good mission to get good at multitasking on. If you play this mission a lot and you follow this route, I think it'll get you good at multitasking. So right at the start, I throw 10 Pikmin on the bridge and I throw 5 on the wall. I throw Brittany to the right side of the water and I throw Charlie across the bridge gap. Now that may all seem really complicated and confusing, but once you're used to doing a lot of multitasking, things like that will just become natural. So as Brittany, I'm plucking all these Pikmin and making sure this water dumper isn't near me. If the water dumper goes near me, I'll back away and then wait because you don't want him eating any of the Pikmin, so if you swarm him, he should die in one hit. And then head over to this wall and start knocking it down. Uh, now I'm going to swap to Charlie, he's got yellows, he should have plucked all the yellows, so put them all on this electric gate, because the quicker we get this electric gate down, the quicker we can knock the other electric gate down, and the quicker we do that, the quicker we can move on. So after doing all that, this wall should be done. Uh, so throw three of your blues on there, and one on there, and start plucking the purples. Switch captains, check how the gate's doing. This gate should be down by now, so go through. You want to take out these water spiders, I forget their name, they're really weird looking. So just kill them, they can move around a lot, so throw several Pikmin at once and then whistle them after you've killed them. We'll pick those up later, but we're going to start plucking these Pikmin here. Because we want to get as many blues as possible, because there's a lot of water stuff in this map. There you go, uh, we're going to kill these other spiders. The reason we want to kill them as well is because they can also shoot water at yellows and whites, who are working. Or even purples. So if you take them out nice and early, we don't have to worry about them. And they're all the enemies on this map. There's just that water dump all in four of those things. Oh yeah, switch back to Alf. He should have plucked the purples, so uh, just throw one on each fruit. And I'll carry it back. Now I'm going to go here to over here. Uh, and I'll show you why in a minute. But first we're going to throw some whites on there. Now just throw the amount I'm throwing on these nugget piles. Basically what I'm doing is I'm throwing more whites on the ones that are further away because I know that they're going to take longer to get there and back. But on these ones that are closer, I'm just putting two on this one and even just one on this one here because there's only ten. But if I put a flowered white on it, he'll usually do it in the amount of time. Throw the rest of the yellows on that electric gate so they're all working. Uh, get Charlie to get all them Pikmin. I'm going to go here, I'm going to go down to this water section. So now we've unlocked all the blue Pikmin so we can get loads of water stuff done. So I'm going to get Alf's blues, I'm going to pick up some of these things. I'm just going to throw Alf off to the side because I just heard the electric gate was finished. Uh, throw one yellow on each of these fruit because there's five fruits and they're all underneath these bits of snow. So just throw yellow on each because yellows dig dead fast. I'm going to swap back to Brittany now and I'm going to pick up these fruits. Uh, throw three on there, five on there. It's just important to get your numbers right as well. You should have about 8 Pikmin left and just put the rest of them on the nuggets. Don't worry about the apple yet, we'll get that later. Uh, I'm going to switch back, uh, throw a purple on each fruit. Uh, now I'm going to throw... Uh, that's fine, just go over here. We've got enough, we don't need to throw one on the cherry because the cherry only takes one anyway. Switch back to Charlie and you want to pick up anything else that's left in the water that you haven't picked up. And then you want to head underneath this bridge here, because there's a golden strawberry and there's a nugget pile, so just put all the blues you have on the nugget pile. Uh, if you put on more than eight, then it'll only take three trips. And I think if it's four trips, you may have to load up some more blues later on. So yeah, you want to think about how many trips things will take as well, that's a big thing as well. Uh, we're going to start digging these things here. Something I could have done faster is I could have digging these a bit faster, I could have got more Pikmin over here. But I think it's fine what I was doing because I, uh, by the end of this mission I did have uh, almost two minutes left by the end. This is pre-recorded. I What I'm going to do with all the missions like I do with all my series is pre-record them. And then I'm going to talk over them afterwards because I find it easier. Because then I can talk in a bit more detail than normal. And I know what's about to happen so... Uh, yeah, I can talk about my mistakes if I make any as well and what not to do. So I'm going to throw my Pikmin across this gap here. You want to get creative as well with your throws, just throw your Pikmin across gaps. You want to switch them between captains as much as possible in situations. Like don't be afraid of doing things that aren't ordinary. Uh, we're going to throw a load of blues onto that nugget pile and making sure that they only take two cycles to get there and back. 
uh, any extra blues that I have, which I've thrown down here, I've got 10. And now we're going to get the apple with these 10. In a minute, we're going to get some more on that nugget pile because they'll need to take another trip. And something that, the thing is, the last fruit that got back was that apple there. So something you could do in this situation is speed up that apple. Because that's going to be the thing that gets back last. It's what speedrunners call the determining factor in Pikmin. So basically what that means is, is say if there's two ship parts moving, I'm talking about Pikmin 1 here, but let's say it's Pikmin 3, let's say there's two fruit moving at once, and one of them is ahead of the other, the one you want to speed up is the one that's uh, behind. So you, the thing is, it doesn't matter if the fastest one gets there first, it's about the one that's going slower. So you want to move the thing that's moving the slowest, faster, because that's the thing that matters really, because say like the nuggets here, like these nuggets are going to get back anyway, there's no point speeding them up because then no matter what they're going to get there faster than this apple. Like this apple here is going to be the last thing that gets back, especially if you follow this route, so you want to speed it up as much as possible obviously. If you speed it up so much there may be a chance that it can get back before nuggets, but I doubt that. Uh, Pikmin are really stupid with grabbing on, I thought they fixed this in 3 Deluxe, but it's a little bit annoying, like Pikmin run around an object and if they can't find anywhere to grab onto it they just don't grab, it's really stupid. What I think they should do is a Pikmin should try and grab part of a fruit and say after like 5 seconds rather than uh, just not grabbing it, they should automatically teleport to a point where they can grab it from. I think that would be a really cool detail. Maybe they didn't do that because it wouldn't look realistic but I think it would be way better and it would make the game more fun. But there you go, we got platinum so we got everything in the mission. And I think that was a high score for me. Well, the thing is, I don't really play the missions very often on Deluxe. Because I've played them a lot on Wii U anyway. But there you go, we've got Platinum. So hopefully you can recreate this and get Platinum for yourselves. So if you enjoyed the video, please like the video and subscribe if you're new around here. Also, please watch the first episode if you haven't already. And if you're wondering how to get Platinum on the other missions, then stay tuned. Because I'm going to go over every mission in the game. Goodbye.